What's up guys, how you're doing? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. So today, I need to do a bit of a job with my 1DX camera body, and I thought I would share that with you. Long story short, I've noticed on a couple of occasions when I'm using this combination, which is my 1DX paired with my 2470, I'm getting a couple of small focus issues. Nothing massive, but every now and again, I'm noting that my image is back focusing or forward focusing ever so slightly. Now, there's a few things you can do. First of all, of course, you can make sure you're focusing properly and all the usual stuff. But every now and again, you need to check the actual gear. Now, before now, I've had gear calibrated. I've sent it off for servicing and stuff like that. And all those things are great. You can do all those things, of course. But one thing you can also do is you can do a little bit of micro adjusting inside your camera with the lens that you've got it paired up to, to try to make sure the focus is as accurate as possible. That's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how it works. It's gonna be a great video. Let's go. Okay, so what am I talking about? Now, with most modern DSLRs, you can do a thing in the menu, in the autofocus section of the menu, to do with micro adjusting your camera paired up with a lens. Now, you can normally do it two different ways. You can do it so it just micro adjusts the camera, regardless of what lens you put on there, or you can do it kind of per lens. So depending on which lens you've got attached to the camera, you can go through and you can micro adjust it accordingly. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. You can go into the menu, and inside the menu on the 1DX, you have, within the autofocus section, you come down to a section called AF Micro Adjustments, and it's on. Now, you can do it within the menu. You can do it all by the same amount, or you can adjust it by the lens. And if you go into the adjust it by the lens section, you can see it tells you which lens you have got attached to the camera. And I've got the 2470 f2.8 Mark II currently attached to the camera. So that's the section we're going to be playing around with today. Now, there's a couple of different bits in there. You'll see when you look on the menu, there's two parts. There's a W and there's a T. In very simple terms, the W is wide, so the widest part of the lens and the T is telephoto. So that's the furthest part of the lens. That's because it's a zoom lens. Now to get into this part of the menu, you press info and it takes you in and you're gonna see a different kind of set of dials. Two different ones. You get the W one, the wide one, which I talked about. And you're also gonna get the T, which is the telephoto one. Now you can adjust those as you go, literally up and down, minus one, minus two, everything else. But how do we know where to adjust them to? Well, we're gonna use a handy device which hopefully most of you guys got around the house. That is a tape measure. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so the reason we are going to use a tape measure, and I've just got a regular household tape measure. The reason we're gonna do that is because we need something which is gonna help us measure where the focus is focusing. So we're going to lay this out along the table and I'm going to focus on a few different points and then we're going to check with the images on the camera to see if the focus is actually focusing on where I'm aiming it. I'm going to focus on the 10 and if then we find it's actually kind of focused on the 9 or on the 11, we then know if it's forward focusing or back focusing. Let me set it up and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here's how the setup looks. I've got the 1DX with the 2470 on this little tripod on the table, and then further down here, I've got the tape measure set up. Now what I've done is I've just balanced something as like a measuring point, specifically for me it's a memory card, and I've just put it bang on line with the 10 inch mark on my tape measure. Now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be manually myself I say manually, obviously with the autofocus, but I'm just going to do it myself, so I'll be looking through the viewfinder. I'm going to be focusing on the front of this memory card. Then when I look at the picture, I will be able to use the tape measure to try to identify, has it focused bang on? Is it slightly behind? Is it slightly in front? So let's take a picture and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so now I've got that set up, I'm quite literally going to focus on the front of the memory card and I'm going to take a picture, then we're going to look at it in the computer. Okay, so we've spun round and we're over now by the computer. So let's go in and have a look at this image. So in here in Lightroom, now if we zoom right in on this image, 
This is the first photo I took. Now, interesting, look, right? This is not entirely out of focus, but look at the tape measure. It looks to me like it's focused a bit more down here on like the eight or the nine rather than up here level with the memory card. So what we need to do is adjust that a little bit in the camera and then take another photo. So let's jump back into the camera and let's do that now. Okay, so we're just gonna take another photo. We've made that adjustment. We're gonna take another photo and see if it's improved. Okay, done. Back at the computer, let's look at this image. So this one, okay, so improved. The eight is a little bit less in focus and now the 10 is a bit more in focus, but I would say most in focus probably is the nine. So we're still not quite there. So we need to jump back into the camera and we need to take another photo. Okay. Okay, we're back. I'm afraid this is a little bit Groundhog Day till we get it right, but let's have a look. Okay, so this is better again. We're now, we're nearly there, look, right? The nine is starting to lose focus. The 10 is looking sharper. The 11 is out of focus, but I would say we're still a bit nearer to the nine than we are to the 10 in terms of where we want to be. So I think we need to make probably one more little adjustment. Let's do that now. Okay, fingers crossed, this is the one. Right, let's have a look. So, zoom in on it again. Yes, right, I would say we're there with this. Now look, right, the 9 slightly out, the 11 slightly out, the 10 looks sharp. I would say that is about where we needed it to be. Perfect, we've got that one nailed. So that feels like we've pretty much got it there on the wide angle now. So what we now need to do is go into the menu again and we're going to do exactly the same process but within that T adjustment to see what we need to do at the telephoto end. Okay, so we're set up exactly the same process. We've got the lens set to 70 mil this time. And because of course that's on a telephoto setting, we've positioned the memory card and the tape measure much further down the other end of the table. So exactly the same, I'm gonna focus on the front of that memory card, which we know I've lined up with the 10 inch mark on the ruler. We're gonna take the photo, then we're gonna look at it on the computer and we'll see how it looks. Right. Okay, familiar place. We're back on the computers. Let's have a look at the first image taken at 70 mil. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, so this first one is actually not bad. I would say this is not so bad. It's pretty sharp. It looks like it's slightly off, maybe. Maybe even potentially the other way. Let's, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to adjust it a little bit, take another photo, then we'll have a look. Let's do that. Okay, next one. Okay, next photo. One thing I should quickly say, I find with the telephoto one, the adjustments seem to have a much smaller effect. So I find I have to adjust it more in the telephoto one to get a smaller effect than I do on the wide angle one. So let's have a look. I thought no messing around, I adjusted this straight to five. Let's have a look and see what the difference is. Okay, so. I would say this is better, but this actually looks a bit more like we had with the wide angle, where perhaps it's a bit more focusing on the... It's nearly there, it's nearly there. I think, you know what, I think probably one more tiny tweak and I think we'll be there. Let's do that now. Okay, another one. Okay, fingers crossed, this one's the image that we need. Yeah, perfect. That looks bang on to me. 11 slightly out, 9 slightly out, 10 looks sharp, memory card looks sharp. I think that's it. I think we've nailed it on both of them. So overall, taking those photos and making those adjustments, we've actually changed it quite a bit. So it looked like both of them were, um, were you know what, actually, I'm not even sure what, what we describe as front or, or back, but basically it was focusing a little bit too closer than it actually should have been. So overall, we had to change to minus five on the wide end and minus six on the telephoto end. So there was quite an adjustment to be made there. Hopefully that's going to have made a big difference.
Okay, and that's us pretty much done. Now look, th that isn't a professional calibration, right? It's not gonna be as good as sending it off to Canon themselves and getting them to calibrate it, but it's certainly more accurate than it was when we started. As you guys can see us using the tape measure there, we've got some improvements and hopefully that's gonna do the job. Of course, I need to get out into some real world scenarios and take some photos and test it really well to see if it's working. And if I feel it's there, then great. If not, I can come back and do this exercise again. But you guys see how it works and it's really, really useful. I have I haven't just done that with this lens, I've done that with my others too. I set up my 70 to 200 on my 1DX and I went through the same process. I've set up my 300 on there and gone through the same process as well. And I've also done that with my 7D Mark II as well to try to make sure we've got them all micro adjusted as much as possible. In some cases, I've got some massive improvements. My 70 to 200 on my 7D II, it went from actually being quite far off on the focus to being really, really like nailed on. Um, and, and I noticed a huge difference difference and so that's what then made me think god oh, i need to go through and do this with all my lenses on my camera bodies which is exactly what i've done so really worthwhile trying it out i hope you guys found it useful i hope you found it interesting if you did make sure you hit that like button take a second to go do that it does not take long and i really appreciate you doing it it helps my video to be more successful and of course that helps to support my channel so thank you very much for doing it if you haven't subscribed to my video and there's a good chance you haven't because apparently 60 percent of my viewers have not subscribed to my channel then please do take a second go hit that subscribe button you can't miss it it's the red one it's right below the video here go hit that loads of other videos to come on my channel loads more videos already on my channel as well which you should go check out don't forget to go check out my social media page you can find me over on instagram in three different places i'm just going to put them all on the screen right here you can find me on twitter as well that one is right here Go check those out, check out my images, let me know, comment on something, tell me you came from YouTube because it's always cool to see who's come from my YouTube channel over to my other social media channels. In the meantime guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys, I will see you on the next video. Which is going to be soon right because we're knocking out three videos a week right now, three a week. Come on, if that doesn't deserve a like and subscribe, I don't know what does. Guys, see you later.